What a what a what what a twenty four hours, man. Twenty four hours. What a twenty four hours. Now I'm not even sure uh if I'm gonna be able to get covered for that. Uh for that uh twenty four hours uh for that breakdown. I don't even know if it's break if it's considered breakdown. Maybe shop or something like that. Maybe the shop. I don't know. I don't know. But um. But yeah, any an eventful twenty four hours. Yeah, if you want to know what happened to me within that twenty four hours. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Lockout Men back again with another commentary for you today. Yes, sir. And in this particular commentary, man, 24 hours, man. 24 hours my 24 hours was eventful it's like jack bowers 24 hours every hour is an eventful hour for that man if you guys are not hip to 24 definitely go check it out even even if it's still old it's it's you know it don't even come on no more but it's still a good series man 24 that was that was the shit back in the day that was the shit. Kind of went downhill a little bit, but you know, for the I think it was like I think it lasted like nine seasons or so something like that. Good show, good show. All right, if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button. Make sure you hit that like button on the way in the door. I do appreciate you hitting that play button to see what I got to talk about. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys stay tuned for all of the good content that's coming out on this channel, the MTC, the pull up, let me see, and, and lots, lots more. Um, engagement you know what i'm saying that's what it's all about it's all about engagement you guys have any questions or anything like that definitely leave it in the comments below and if you want more content head over to instagram and follow me over there you can also you can also get in direct contact with me on instagram as well so if you want to if you want to talk to your boy make sure you hit me up doing good doing good you know progressing you know getting getting better able to breathe a lot my pulse socks is a 97 still when i put it on my finger i still got the abrutal raw you know what i'm saying i do got the i do got a subtle case of the cough chest is not hurting no more shortness of breath is is it's not there no more but um i want to i want to send a well wish shout out to a trucker named Jay, um, I seen his uh, I seen his live feed uh, yesterday. He was he was telling about the the trouble that he had uh, over the weekend, which put him in the hospital. And I was in his uh I was in his chat, you know, talking to him. You know, it's not about you know what I'm saying. It, it's it's not about you know drama i mean you know this is this is real life consequences real life circumstances real life situations out here that us drivers really go through and this youtube shit is like secondary you know what i'm saying i see a fellow truck driver and he's in the hospital of course i'm going to be a little bit concerned about him whether i like him or not I'm still concerned about him because Jay has uh, significant health issues and I have, you know, some health issues as, as well. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned because I, I've seen plenty, this damn fly, I've seen plenty of uh, posts by him. I, I think I've seen the one post where his feet was, where his feet was swollen like they were swollen to the size of uh, uh, uh basketballs man i mean it wasn't that bad 
uh, I, I looked down at my feet, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, and I noticed that, you know, my feet was a little bit swollen. But, you know, being a being a type two diabetic, you 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 gotta you gotta watch that. You you gotta watch your health when you you know when you have health situations. Jay's in the hospital. He's about to get surgery, and now he's about to be put on dialysis. Which, uh, unfortunately, I, I did do some research because somebody did ask him. He said, "Being on dialysis, dialysis, uh, would that disqualify you from you know from getting your DOT medical card, which in tune, which will have you not driving the truck if you can't get your DOT medical card." And, you know, I, I think somebody said, yeah, but I went to go and do my research and it did say somewhere in the research that it's up to the doctor's discretion. You know what I'm saying? It's up to the doctor's discretion to uh, to say that he's OK to drive a truck. But in the long run, no. Uh, you know, if somebody is on dialysis, um, you know, they got to, you know, they got to use the bathroom a certain way. And it's going to be a little it's, it's going to be a little hard for 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 them to, you know, to concentrate on the road and concentrate on their on their dialysis. So get well, Jay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, you know, focus you know right now you know you say you you know you're a lightweight uh you know lace op with with vl trucking um i did reach you know i did send out a invitation to you so you can uh definitely come on the show and we can both chop it up because you know like i said i got you know we i got health issues and all like that and that's something that you know some you know future drivers can can learn from you know what i'm saying what what they need to do how they need to do it you know what i'm saying so you know if you're interested in coming on the invitation is open to you my g reach out to me by instagram and um and yeah i can get you on the show and uh we can have a have a chat about you know half an hour 45 minutes or something like that um i know you're in surgery today um get well soon my g and um We'll, we'll we'll all we'll definitely all pray for you all right all right so let's let's get into uh today's commentary man Woo! yesterday man was a long day long day i was stuck it rained you know it it, it, it didn't rain it thunderstormed uh that night you know and you know where i park at you know i park in the you know i park in the drive next to my house uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> you know, I couldn't, I couldn't get out. You know, tires were spinning and all like that. I tried everything, tried rocking the boat and all like that, and uh, I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't do nothing. So I had to call my, uh, I had to call my man's to come out and you know and wrench me out. I said it don't take them that long. I call you back like, yo, I went back to sleep. I thought you was going to, yeah, I was going to send the money. You didn't think I wasn't going to send the money? No, my ear was tuned to that ding. <laughs> I didn't hear that ding. <laughs> and it was raining. I said, oh, shit. Uh, shout out to Wolf Pack towing out there, man. If you need, if you need some excellent, excellent tow service, uh, my man Jerome Dollar Bill Cleveland will be the one to call. I wish I have a, I think I got his phone number, but you can naturally look it up. Uh, if you're on, if you're on Facebook, it's Wolfpack Towing on Facebook. Um, I'll probably find a phone number and I'll leave it in the description below. But uh, guys, if you need that good tow, that good wrench out, that good personalized service at at reasonable prices hit my man up you know he's good to go so he came he came a little late though you know i called him about i don't know about six o'clock or something like that and you know we was going back and forth whatever whatever but he still came out you know hook you know hook the hook up under the 
hooked the hook up under the Mac and got me out and got me back on the road. So on the way to the uh, terminal was uh, was a good drive, as always. Um, stopped over, got me something to eat, and um, I called my I called my safety director, and I wanted to ask her about PC. All right, um, now of course PC is like little mish mush information is it's kind of confusing all right so if you're confused about pc definitely go to the fmcsa and read up on it or if you know if you can get a hold of your uh safety people where who you drive for just make sure that you're in compliance when you do pc so i called her up and i said hey you know i says um can i pc to the terminal or do I got to be on duty to the terminal so she was like well are you do you have a trailer and I was like no I'm not a, I'm not up under the trailer I'm bobtailing so at that point this fly man you know what I need a fly squatter you know what you 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 about to get it you you about to get it you know what I'm saying you you, you about to get it. I don't even know how you I don't even know how you got up in here the fuck how you got up in here and the windows is closed Shh. the fuck you come from you know like flies be coming out of the fucking woodwork right the most irritating insect on the fucking planet but anyway um but anyway long story short with that i asked her if, you know if I, I asked her i was like yo is it all right for me to pc and she was like yeah go ahead no problem so pc'd in and and got to the terminal put my put my truck in the terminal shop but unfortunately um the windshield uh wasn't wasn't there <laughs> so i had to go over to the uh so i had to go over to the dealership but uh, also while i was at the dealership they also had to check for you know i had a couple of lights that's that was on the Mac and everything. So, uh, hopped in the truck, got over to the shop, and man, woo wee! I was at the shop damn near all day, all day for them to for them to change the windshield and to see what's wrong. You know, see why the lights was on on the truck. all day to change the windshield once they got finished with the windshield i thought i went to sleep <laughs> i i went to sleep i thought you know i was like okay i'm i'm going to sleep i'm out bam bam boom i want to come wake up in about a in about a couple of hours they'll be done and i'll be rolling no they didn't get done with me for like maybe like four five six hours or something like that and as far as the lights that that's on the truck and everything uh I don't know what they did. They, you know, they did for it to go, you know, for it to go out. I don't even think they did anything to see why the lights is coming on, I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a computer issue, I guess, because, you know, last time I had it in the shop and they, you know, they gave it the once over and all like that because the lights was on. Um it was like everything was cool. They reset it, bam, bam, boom. But the same lights came right back on. So I don't know. I don't know. But uh, but yeah, as far as as far as that goes, man, that was you know that was a long day. I got my load. I made it back to the shop. Got my load, and I'm heading to Alba, Kirky, New Mexico. Yeah. Yes, 
it's uh, I haven't been to I haven't been to New Mexico in a hot minute. So I will be going back uh, for delivery in New Mexico. Uh, definitely get a get a quick picture of the sign, the New Mexico sign. Of course, I'm going to get that uh, because ain't no telling how long it's going to be back before I be in New Mexico again. Um, and so I'm on my way there. Fast forward to this morning. Oh, man. Come on now. Lockout, man. What's man? What's going on? All right. So this morning I get to the uh, well, last night I got to the to the receiver. And uh, this morning uh, they put me in the dock. So I put it in PC because, you know, I was still up under my 10 hour and I put it in PC usually when i when i when i you know finish with pc you know i have a habit of taking it off of pc because of course i don't want it i don't want to get a conversation again with my with my uh with my safety director about misusing pc definitely don't want to misuse pc because i need it but anyway um i get uh I get finished getting unloaded. Uh, the guy came out, came out there. He was like, yo, uh, I'm done. We're going to need you to, you know, get up out the dock. You know, we got more trucks coming today. I was like, uh, is it, you know, I was like, is it all right to chill for me? He was like, no, you got to, you know, get off the property. Yada, yada, yada. You know, the, you, you know, the rhetoric us truck drivers go through on a daily basis. So I was like, all right unfortunately my dumb behind moved the truck and you know what happened it kicked in the drive and it kicked me right out of my damn 10 hour only a couple of seconds like maybe maybe less maybe a minute a minute and i be i be flipped I, I, my, my, I, I have to do my whole 10 hour over again. Uh, hopefully I, I got it in I, I, right now. I got it in sleeper birth. I only had like maybe like a couple of hours left. Maybe, uh, maybe it, uh, you know, the seven, three split will come into play. Um, if that's the case, I'll see how many hours I have. If I have to end up doing a, a, another, uh, another 10 hours, man. That's going to be. Fuck. It's going to be close to like eight o'clock tonight or something like that. If that's the case, then I'm going to have to. Going to have to jump on and do some night driving because I got to have a, uh, I got to have this low, uh, the next low in Arkansas tomorrow morning before 11. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some night driving, uh, to 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 get it there, on time. And that's you know that's what I do. I try to get, try to get my try to get my loads there on time and all like that. But I'm gonna try and figure out and see if uh you know see what the seven you know see what the seven three split does for me, and if it does that, if the seven three split does that for me, then. I'll be able to uh, maybe use that, but yeah, that's how my 24 hours went, y'all. That's 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 about it. That's that's about it. That's about done. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys uh, was in your was kicked out of your 10 hour for whatever reason. If you forgot the, if you got if you forgot the 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 change it from from. Uh, from sleeper to off duty or from sleeper to pc or whatever the case leave it in the comments below let me know what happened to you uh you know what was your situation when you know you was kicked out of your 10 hour and you had to turn around and and do another 10 fuck another 10 all right let me know in the comments below 
Uh, that's going to do it for today's commentary. I really do appreciate you guys sliding by. If you stay to this point right here, thank you very much. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out the door. We always trying to it's, we trying to strive for a hundred likes, man. You know, we get about we get about a good number of people up in here and only a few likes. I don't know what's going on with that. Come on, let's make the likes match the views that's 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 the goal that that is the goal all right i really appreciate you guys joining me thank you very much if you like content like this and more don't forget to like subscribe comment share hit that bell and that all button and until next time i'll come i'll see you guys later peace ryan little <laughs>